eats it. <laughs> well, that was epic. G'day everyone, welcome to another full scale fishing adventures video. Today we are at the land of the giant brim and that is Port Piri. Now it's not the most scenic place to fish I must admit and once you get past all this industrial stuff and um, past the lead smelter it's actually really nice. So what we're going to do, we're going to put the boat in and then we're going to head up one of the many mangrove creeks and we're going to go sight casting for big brim and it's quite special here because it's not your typical style of um, brim fishing we're sort of searching through the snags um, blind casting and you can do that and you'll catch fish but um, here you can actually sight cast big fish cruising along sand flats um, the tide's up at the moment but it's going to start dropping and that's a really good time to um, go sight casting the flats and one important thing to remember um, I've picked uh, a sunny day you need a sunny day for this style of fishing um, but also the the slower um, smaller tides are much better because you'll have um, cleaner water um, there won't be as much flow in the creeks and it seems to be easier to find the fish like that but as you can see it's an absolutely stunning day so we'll get the boat in and we'll get started Unconventional. Right. Oh, got him. <laughs> I knew it was a big brim. That's the, the least <laughs> exciting way to hook a big brim. But I'll take it. It was funny as. I thought, <laughs> I thought that he was like dead or something, but there you go. He's there and he's big. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, you know, it's a really random way of catching a big, big brim like that, but I'll take it. Beautiful fish. Obviously, I can see that he's a bit blind. Didn't find the best either, but that is a genuine tank. Oh Lord, how cool is that? What a tank of a fish. Well, I could see him sitting there. That is a chunk. We'll put it on the, the brag mat. So nose, nose there. He is. He's 40, say 48 and a half. It's a banger. So very unconventionally sight fished in the mangroves, but 48 and a half centimetres is a gnarly big black brim he's an old fella i'd hate to think how old this fish is he might be 30 40 years old so pop the lure out that z-man grub just bang right in the gob there and um we'll send him on his way oh. there's one sitting right against the tree there he's seen it didn't like it at all there's a big one there you can see him cruising across the sand get a bit better cast at him it's right there it's a big one too old school of them a bit better cast Cast. Eats it. <laughs> well, that was epic. 
That was so cool. Just saw them cruising across the sand there. I've uh, been going along for a fair while and I hadn't caught it, <laughs> I hadn't seen any. And then I just, they just appeared. That is so good. That was awesome. And he is a cracker of a fish. Absolute tank. does now <laughs> oh, he's a bit more alive than the last one oh, just in time for the wind come on dude <laughs> big big honking brim <laughs> oh, what a fish oh, yeah that's a banger. How's that for a sight fish brim on the sand? 47 centimeters. And once again, Z-Man grub right in the gob. Off he goes. The whole school of them. The whole school of them right there. Got him. <laughs> oh man, that was cool. Look at them all there. <laughs> Found the mother load. Got the eight. Oh, he's out of here. <laughs> yeah. And that's why I worked along slowly all the way up here. He's going to roast me in the weed. Oh man. There is so many down there. That's incredible. So many. <laughs> big, big bruiser. <laughs> oh, epic, so epic. Look at him. I've just been working along and it's funny, you can always, you can always feel like giving up, but just keep going and then it happens. And that is a tank, tank of a brim. Oh man, that's big. It's pretty big. Uh, get him in the net. Oh, maybe not. Come on. Oh, that is big. That is big. <laughs> All right, dude, in you come. Oh, that is a tank. Look at the size of that thing. Holy crap. I didn't get an eat. And then changed to the bloodworm grub and got that absolute tank. <laughs> what a banger. That is a mean size brim. Sight cast in the shallows up this tiny little creek. So much fun. <laughs> what a good fit. It's 40. So 47, a bit over 47. Beautiful big fish. Think of a brim. You ready to go? There he goes. <laughs> that was nice. Actually a little bit further up the creek than what I normally go, um, but I had I'd seen I had seen been seeing fish, um, but I hadn't seen a lot and just to be able to come up into this real narrow section. And there'd be a whole school of them and I'm so glad I changed from, I had a, two refusals on that motor oil. I got the first two and then had two uh, refusals from really good shots and changed to that bloodworm grub. And the next fish just creamed it. That was so, so cool. Yeah, he's right here. Eats it. Oh man, that was cool. <laughs> Sitting right in the middle of the river. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was super fun. Sight casting fish, it doesn't matter what it is. Oh, there's two big ones there. I found the mother load. Oh, I've just spotted another two big ones. 
there so I'm going to try and push my way back and see if I can't not spook them which would be good and I'll get this one in oh they're still there oh they're still there there's three of them three big ones right there along with the big one on the end of my line <laughs> very cool Very nice fish. That is awesome. Get the net home. Come on, buddy. In you come. Oh, a tank. Another tank. Another absolute beast. going to pop him in the live well and see if we can't get that other one. seen it eats it <laughs> oh that was wicked I'm saying that a lot but this is actually a red letter day for this sort of thing you don't often get to catch this many big brim one after the other <laughs> oh man and in such a tight little creek <laughs> Get out of there. Oh, it's gonna end up in the bush. Get out of there. So much fun. So much fun. Look at him, he's another bruiser. Wow, another bruiser, yeah, oh man, he is a tank, look at the size of him. Oh, look at this, there's one, big tank, and I'm so glad I put him in the live well, because here's the other one. Look at him, an absolute horse of a brim. <laughs> that is very specky. I'll put them on the brag mat, we'll see how long they are. Here's number one, and he is, he's 48 and a half. He's got 40, 48 and a half. Very cool. All right, here's the other one. He is 47 and a half. 47 and a half. So they can go back in the drink. There he goes. He's just going underneath this bush here. See if I can't skip. Yeah, he's turning this way. Just in there. No. I wouldn't say he's the biggest one in the world, but I'll take him. Oh yeah, I ate it. I pulled it out of his mouth. Got him that time. <laughs> Just a little twitch and 
that was enough to convince him. <laughs> Get out of there! I haven't got a lot of room to go actually here. <laughs> Whoa! Turn around. Get back on top of him. I'm not even sure if that was the same fish. I think it must, it must have been. That's the first one that didn't really eat it to start with and then a few twitches and he ate it. Oh, nice. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm just having so much fun. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Spot lock it there. I didn't think he was that big, but he's pretty big. They're all giants. They are all giants. Dang! Dang! It's another whopper. Another whopper. You can go in there for the moment. Get your breath back. Stock standard SA brim. <laughs> oh, what a tank. Bloodworm strikes again. That is a cracking fish. Very happy with that one. Yeah, he is. It's like a pigeon pear, 47 and a half. So look at the belly on it. <laughs> That's incredible. Okay. Give me a right to go, buddy. So we've gotten, gotten right up to the top of this um, small creek that we've been fishing. So the tide's just starting to turn. I ran out of water up there, so I'm gonna start heading back and see if we can't spot a few on the way out. Hopefully, we'll see how we go. It's been pretty good anyway. We're pretty much back at the ramp now. That was a really cool day. That was some of the best sight fishing I've had for those big brim um, probably ever. So it was really cool to be able to experience that. Um, I didn't really see much on the way out and I've always found that, and it doesn't matter really what sort of fish you're sight fishing for, but make that first run through count because the fish really clue on, like those big brim, they're a very old fish and they know what's up. So, you know, make that first run through count, go through slowly because usually the second time through is just not as good. So um, once again, those two confidence baits was the motor oil um, grub and the bloodworm grub in two and a half inch i fished them on a 1 16th ounce head um, i used a size one and also a size uh, a 1-0 hook as well um, both caught fish um, yeah great day thanks for watching hopefully um, you enjoyed it and please subscribe to the channel it helps heaps cheers see ya